Good morning, everyone. It is a icy morning today in West Virginia. And on my way to work, as I was preparing this morning, I was thinking about things I wanted to talk about and share. I have a much longer video coming um, than these quick lives I do about leadership. Um, but I just wanted to share uh, something that has been kind of, you know, rolling around inside my head the last couple of days. And when we look at other people online or in person and we want to, we see them having success. A lot of times we may want to follow that person. A lot of times we may see someone who doesn't appear to be having success or financial success um, in their business, in their teams, whatever might be going on there. And um, one of the things that I really love about what I'm doing is we have a depth and a wealth of material to listen to um, from people who have results, actual, actual results of what they've done. Um, the two mentors I'm working with a lot right now um, that I'm in contact with on a daily basis uh, for the one, like, two years ago, he was in his job, in a job, and he was doing that um, when he got started in this. He's a regular guy. Um, smart and humble and, and willing to learn from... The guy that we're both mentoring with, who's mentoring both of us, who four years ago, I think it was about four years ago, left his job. What I've seen in this, this industry in the past, and I see it a lot still, is people who want to make it seem like they are... They're not free, but they want to make it seem like they're free from their job, that they, you know, have these great results, and they're um, really pushing that narrative of they have enough results that you should follow them. I don't. I don't have any big um, successes when it comes to the financial side of this industry yet. I've done a ton of learning and growing personally. Uh, it is evident to the people around me uh, in my office where I work, my church, my, my family members, that things are changing, that I'm changing as a person. And those are the first steps to success. I know I've got a lot of work to do to get where Mr. Brze and Mr. Slade are and to um, to see that reality of being free from my day job uh, becomes an actual something that I get to enjoy. And I look at who they're mentoring with and the successes they have had. And have, really. I mean, the results. Um, the the people that they're mentoring with um, in the next level above them are mentoring with people who have become millionaires in the network marketing industry. And I've met one of them, and he's a great guy. He seemed 10 feet tall. Good morning, George. When I met him, uh, 
Maybe I was a little starstruck, I'll be honest. But to listen to them talk and to hear their hearts in their words. And then to learn these two guys, these two main leaders, uh, are both on the Inc. Uh, 500 top leader list. What? Yeah. It's pretty cool. Um, and the one mentored the other there. It's the, They're the only two on the entire list where um, the one was mentored by the other. More Luke. Um, I'm so grateful for the results that Mr. Slade and Mr. Brze have. I'm so thankful for the results that um, these other leaders have. And the commitment they have to helping me. It's not because I have a huge team underneath me now and they, you know, they want to see me succeed just like they did. And they're so patient and understanding of my personal growth issues and challenges. And I'm thankful for that. 100 top. Thanks, Luke, for clarifying that. Good morning, Sandra. Good morning, Greg. Leadership is is a tool that really transcends any industry. Um, if you have the right skill sets, if you develop the right traits, then you overcome. You you get out of your industry, and you can lead in any place. There's some that can only lead in their place. Um, because of the type of leader they are, type of skill sets they have. And that's one of the things I'm grateful for is the leaders that I'm connected with that I get to listen to and learn from. They've transcended their space and they're leaders in their communities now. They're leaders in, um, well, they're leaders in their teams, obviously, but they're leaders in the industry and they are making a difference one person at a time. In fact, I cannot believe how many times I've heard one of my favorite stories, the starfish thrower, over and over and over and over and over again. Because life is about making the difference one person at a time. And lifting one person up at a time. That's the way that Christ ministered, is one-to-one. -one. Yeah, he did a lot of group teaching, you also look, and there's a lot of one-to-one -one connections. Whether you're Christian or not, he did set a good example of how to be in the world. So, all right, my friends, go out and make it a great day. I do not have a book review for you on Wednesday, um, but I'll be back on Friday in the Tigers Club for more information. We are looking for beta testers and promoters for our new free app. So if you like to shop, you like to eat out, this might definitely be something for you. Uh, you can private message me or drop an info in the comments below. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, thank you guys so much for spending time with me. I hope you go out and make a great day. The new website is coming. First announcement on that. Um, it's going to be blackswangold.com. It's up. It's got content in it. A couple days behind. Uh, you're going to see a notice go up on ironwheel.net slash cs that everything's moving, and that'll become an archival site for the time being. Um, so yeah, Black Swan Gold, new site. That's where all the that's where all the good stuff's gonna be at. And I will catch you later, my friends. Make it a great day.